Welcome everyone, this is Claude Alpha. Today I have the round one from IDC29. I'm up against Toxic Sam at the top of your screen playing Water Darkness Fire Aggro and I'm at the bottom of your screen playing Water Darkness Aggro. I lead with a turn 2 Melia and let's see what Toxic Sam is going to lead. He leads with a turn 2 Spinning Terror. Now you may notice that my cards look a bit different now, that's because I'm using a different image pack, one made by one of the members in our community called the Raz. So if you are playing on Octagon and you're not using uh, Raz's image pack, then uh, what are you doing with your life? I will leave a link down in, a in the description where you can get this pack. Now uh, I follow it up with a propeller and an aqua guard and he decides to kill the aqua guard with the volcanic and and then just uh, trade with Melia which is a very odd play putting himself on less shields while I maintain my board advantage Now I play, well, he plays Pyrofighter Magnus, killing my propeller, which causes him to discard the Spiral Gate. Next turn I can evolve Aqua Guard and threaten Lethal. But he has another Spiral Gate for the Aqua Guard, and now he can trade his Pyrofighter into Melia. So here I'm gonna summon another Melia and the Aqua Guard which was bounced. If he's out of removals, I can definitely go for game next turn. But he has a Unicorn Fish and a Melia which bounces my attacker. Here I would charge the Melnia and go for the Aqua Hulkus. I don't know why I'm thinking of charging the other two. I definitely want to go for Aqua Hulkus because there's no blockers in Toxic Sam's deck as far as I can tell. Yeah. So that's the best play. Now I can uh, go for game next turn. So he summons more creatures to to build a, a board. But it's too late for him because now I can evolve into Crystal Paladin and threaten Lethal. And yeah, I take game one. Pretty quick one. Now we go into game two. So uh, yeah, I can start with the turn to spinning terror here. Definitely, ch definitely charging a crystal spin slicer because I have two copies in hand. He leads with a turn to spinning terror, and I'm gonna f do the same. breaking my first shield and the problem is he summons a second spinning terror. Now uh, normally I would have definitely gone for Aqua Guard into Spin Slicer to kill that spinning terror. But now because there's two it poses a problem as I will not be able to attack with both. With both the Spin Slicer and the Spinning Terror as he would be able to to kill one of them with the spinning terror that stays on the battlefield. So instead I go for Aqua Hulkus and just attack with the creature I can attack with. Now he bounces my spinning terror, 
some as cook pollen. Fortunately, I do get a spiral gate, which allows me to bounce the spinning terror. Which now means I can uh, kill the uh, the first spinning terror with spin slicer, and also go in with aqua Hulkus. Next turn he will uh, definitely go in with Cookpolon. It's looking like I will go for Aqua Guard into Crystal Spin Slicer and uh, another 2 drop. Toxic Sam is still thinking of how we can apply the most pressure here. And he proceeds to summon uh, two, two creatures. I do get a locomotive or aura shield, which is quite nice. Which means I can uh, threaten lethal. However, uh, for some reason I misplay here and I attack with Crystal Spin Slicer first, which you should never do with this deck against an aggro deck. I would have definitely gone in with one of my other creatures because now he can just bounce the other Crystal Spin Slicer and uh, just threaten lethal next turn. Had I gone in with uh, Loco or Aqua Hulkus, he would have bounced one of the Spin Slicer and I could have just stopped attacking. And I would have had one uh, 5000 blocker untapped as well. But uh, yeah. Uh, now I will probably get really punished for that misplay and lose the second game. Yeah, no uh, spiral gate to save me from my from my. Uh, bad attacking sequence so yeah we're going on to game three where i start unfortunately for me i brick on multi saves so i can't go for a two drop on turn two now i'm gonna go for melia in Aqua Guard on turn 3. Now he summons Aqua Hulkus. Next turn I can evolve Paladin if he attacks with Spinning Terror. I don't evolve Aquaguard here because that means if I attack with Melia and Paladin, he will be able to just trade his Spinning Terror into the Paladin. So that's why I just opt for the Spiral Gate. Proceeds to summon Spinning Terror and Melia. Now he forces a trade with Akuhulkus, which I, which I block with Akuguard. Now uh, here I would charge the Paladin. I don't think it's useful anymore. And uh, summon Unicorn Fish. But for some reason I charged the uh, Aqua Guard, which is definitely a misplay in my opinion. That Paladin is... yeah, I might get Guard into Paladin later, but... It's better against an aggressive deck to just hold on to the blocker. As you're not guaranteed that you will see another Aqua Guard again to evolve. Paladin straight away.
Yeah, and then we trade his uh, spinning terror into the Melia. And here I could have had a spinning terror and an aqua guard on the field. But I suppose it's... I did it because he plays Galak the Shadow Warrior. Even so, even if he plays Galak, I... I would have had no cards in hand, so... All Gallic would have done was just kill the Aqua Guard. Now he goes for two more spinning terrors and crushes his melee into my spinning terror. Now I have uh, two more creatures on the field to threaten Lethal next turn. Unless he finds a way to threaten Lethal himself. And uh, I'm still thinking if I want to go in with Jewel Spider and I don't know why, to be fair. I should have passed the turn a long time ago. And now uh, he does have double Pyrofighter, unfortunately for me. Only a Spiral Gate can save me and... No such luck. And yeah, he takes game 3. Rather unfortunate losing a game and like a whole match after one or two misplays like that. But uh, yeah, you live and learn. And that was round one from IDC29. Until next time, see ya.